Hey guys, I just wanna give you kind of a detail on what happened when I had my wisdom teeth removed. And I'm gonna add pictures as we go along. I'll add my x-ray pictures, my post-op pictures, a couple days down the road so you guys can see the swelling and everything that happened. But I'm about 11 weeks post-op. So I had them done on May 21st. I had this top one and both my bottoms done and they were impacted wisdom teeth, the bottoms were, which means they were pointing this way not like this. So it was hurting my bottom teeth and it was just a problem. And so I kind of want to explain what happened. Uh, because I live so far away from a place that would do this, I did the consultation and the appointment and the same day. So I went up there, the consultation just involved, you know, the doctor coming in, seeing if you needed any help with anything, any questions. They took a new x-ray of my teeth. I got it real clear because they had like state-of-the-art x-ray stuff. And then we went in to the appointment. They sent me in a room, looked just like a dentist's office, so it wasn't scary or anything. The only difference is they had like an area for IVs hooked up and oxygen. And so after more questions being answered, after I got everything paid for ahead of time, uh, the assistant hooked me up to an IV, got all that fluid started, got my oxygen started, and after just a few minutes, I was out of it, and I don't remember anything till I woke up when I got home, which is about three and a half, four hours later, like after my appointment. And my husband's the one that drove me, and he told me what he did right after. They came out, they gave him an ice pack that was already frozen, gave him the prescription forms and everything, and he went across the street, got all my prescriptions, which included hydrocodone, you know, pain reliever, and then uh, a mouth rinse that was supposed to help fight off infection, but also keep, keep my incisions clean. I had stitches, but I did pop the stitches within like the first week, like all of them. <laughs> and I popped this one down here a long time. Like it, it was like two days after, if even that, because it was so tied up there in my cheek. And yeah, the stitches were probably the most uncomfortable thing. I will tell you, it hurt. Okay, it's gonna hurt, it's surgery. But I did get over it, the pain meds helped. I took the hydrocodone every four to six hours, which was closer to four hours because of how much pain I was in. And then in between, so you know, I take that and two hours later I take ibuprofen, then two hours later back to hydrocodone. And I would do that until the pain was manageable to where I switched just to ibuprofen. I did not get a syringe when I first went. So after my appointment, I didn't get that. But two weeks later, I did get an infection right down here in this bottom hole. And so when I went, they gave me medicine to help fight off that. And then they also gave me the syringe, which helped keep all the holes clean. And I think that worked way better than the mouth, mouth rinse. So if you go, please suggest to get one of these syringes because it's awesome. And I went on vacation four days after I had this done. So that was not really the smartest thing to do. You kind of want to keep your schedule clear if you can so you can heal and rest. But I did already have this um, vacation scheduled and actually I had my original wisdom tooth appointment scheduled months before it. But because of the COVID-19 stuff going on, everything had shut down like the day my appointment was scheduled for. So I did have to wear a mask every time I went somewhere up there, which was okay. I had to go through the temperature reading, make sure I wasn't running a fever, asking a bunch of questions that I had to answer. And that was all for the COVID-19. So normally you won't have to do that. You might still have to right now, but you know, later on, you're not going to have to do that. So let's see. Um, I mean, that was basically it. The food I ate was softer foods. You know, I had protein shakes that I drank the first few days. I didn't really feel like eating or drinking anything. Um, then I start getting my appetite back. So there's applesauce, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, yogurt, um, blueberries were nice to eat, avocado, anything soft that really could just be mushed and not have to be chewed because there is that pain. And I could not open my mouth much wider than like this for probably a month. It was insane. I'm like, is my mouth ever gonna open again? But I guess that's normal. So anyways, I had issues getting anything in my mouth anyways, like even a spoon, just getting that in there. Um, however, on vacation, I did eat lots of food that I probably shouldn't have ate right afterwards. And I don't know if 
food being caught in the hole is probably what caused my infection. My doctor never actually said, but since he did ask me about specifics on that and give me the syringe to keep the holes clean, I'm assuming that's what caused that. So I did end up eating pizza. I ended up eating hamburgers, um, chicken sandwiches, tacos, everything were soft tacos, but I didn't eat anything hard or crunchy that if it got turned the wrong way would hurt. So everything was still soft and it took me forever to eat anything. I mean, I would just chew and chew and chew because I could only chew on these front teeth because that was like the only thing not killing me <laughs> from pain. But aside from all that, everything got taken care of pretty good. It's an experience that I'm glad I don't have to do again, but I definitely needed those teeth out. So if you were in pain, make sure you get them out. It's gonna be a whole lot more painful a long ways down the road because you're gonna be hurting every day from the pain of them. So just get it out, get it over with, all will be good. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you and I hope I can help you guys in any way. So thank you for watching.